This is a 2017 version. Power steering pump replacement, common issue on these. Um, I do have a lift and I'm not gonna show you the exact breakdown. I've already done this. I'm not gonna redo this ever again, intentionally. But um, I'm gonna show you, I did not drop the subframe. You do not have to do that to get this out. It was very difficult for me to do it. I'm gonna show you the route I took and it does take some finagling. I would not have ever been able to get the camera in there. We could see that obviously it looks like a mess. All I did was I cranked my wheel all the way to the right, popped this tie rod off, and you have one bolt at the bottom here. You got a bolt going this way. So here's what the old power steering pump looks like. This is your bolt going this way. This is your bolt in that back corner there. <clears throat> to get it out, also take this 10 mil off, loosen that clamp up. That's a 16 millimeter line wrench nut up there. That one kind of sucks. Get your belt off, get the half inch breaker bar in there, push that off. Um, other than that, other than that, I bent this tab down a little bit here. And I was able to finagle the power. St I was trying to get this mount off right here, but that is not super easy to get at. Hold on one second. I have a lift. I do believe you could do this on the ground if needed. Let me get this in there so I can show you guys. Obviously, I got some excess fluid where I could not help, but. I was able to get my arms up in here and finagle the power steering. You can see that's the power steering pump right there. And pull it out, trying to gently pull up on here. I was able to get it out through here without removing anything else. I know it looks atrocious. It took me a while. I probably could have done this on my back it would have sucked, but we didn't have to drop the subframe, so we don't have to get it aligned. We didn't move any suspension components. All we did was pop off the tie rod and re-secure it back down. It is possible without dropping the cradle, subframe, whatever you want to call it. Because if you're using a lift, I mean, I'm right here. I moved it from here, but it's still this loosening that up wouldn't give me enough room I don't think without loosening those up so it probably takes more finagling coming out that way through the back but I don't see any other way you could have done this easier this took me about an hour and a half and I'm gonna go prime it make sure there's no leaks so thank you guys I'm sorry this was not an in-depth one I really would have struggled with the camera photography there but uh other than that if you have any questions i will do my absolute best to answer them the dealer quoted uh this customer 1480 dollars to replace that 